Hello and welcome to my another tutorial on Gelship. Uh, here we will see how we can make a line span easily using Gelship software. So let's start. I will begin with a new HAL form. Gelship has a options to create a, probably a template, uh, which is very handy and you can select what type of hull form you want to see and uh, let's go with the easy one traditional one i will check these options out because i want to create this uh, station buttocks and water lines by myself so the vessel is about 121 meter long the draft is 7 meter and the breadth or the beam is uh, 19 meters I will accept it and here is the hull form so I will hide the control points and everything at this moment I don't have any stations line water line or the buttock line defined so to do that we have to go to the tools and then uh, we have to choose this uh, intersection so here we can define all these uh, parameters to get the line span uh, working so at first uh, we can we can we should define the stations and we can do that in a two way either we can add a new one and specify the distance or uh, we can define a range so for this one let's for example start from one meter aft uh, forward of the aft end and then our vessel was about 121 meter so let's put it and then we can put the line span spacing for the stations um, about uh, 0.8 meter and the thing is in delta you can use any distance you want you can change this spacing so if you have multiple different uh, station spacing you can define uh, separately and it will come and then you have to just define the buttock lines so the bread beam of this vessel was 19 meter so the end value would be 19 and then interval i will put about uh, one meter then the buttock appears similarly uh, water lines uh, assuming my draft was about uh, maybe five meter starting from one meter with an interval of 0.5 so if we want that this is not correct we want to increase the draft we can delete and then let's put the draft to be about eight meter from one meter and one meter of uh, interval so we have them all Di diagonals uh, is not very much commonly used for uh, conventional ship design but you can add them if you want and in that case you have to define the distance and the angle and the curvature let's accept this so now we have the lines uh, curve appeared on the hull form and I can make the hull form shaded to the curve so we can see how it looks so after you have defined this correctly you can go to this function called line span and when you are here you can see the whole uh, layout for doing the lines plan and here they have some built-in uh, layout format there is four the newer version there is more so you can choose which one you like to show in your lines plan drawing so usually uh, commonly this one is used where you have the profile and then you have this hybrid plan and then you have the body plan and from here you can also turn off this color fill so to uh, bring it to the AutoCAD and if you want it to be just in black and white then you can choose this black and white I'll put the color on and then you can also from here you can choose what 
you want to include in your live stream. If you want just the stations to be shown, then you can just uh, turn off uh, the stations or buttons uh, with the others turning off. The same time, water buttocks and water lines. This one, you can, if you want to use the full hull for the hybrid plan, if your hull is asymmetric, then it would be good to use. You can also change the color as you like for the lines, and you can also change the uh, parameters, uh, line types. For example, now the station line I have choose. For the station, I have the green line. Uh, if I want to ch change this to, for example, the some other color like a maroon, then I can choose from here. So you can do it for all these lines. You can choose the line types and the line width and also the line color. So when you are done with this, uh, you can also actually include or exclude your default drawing borders. Now I have a border here. And then when you have it, you just save it to the belt ship. And save. you can save it uh, in a deep, very different format of AutoCAD DX save. And now I have it saved. And let's open it. So I have now opened it in Autodesk uh, TrueView. I don't have the full Autodesk uh, AutoCAD here. So just to see, uh, after I have opened the file in AutoCAD, you will see exactly like this. After that, you probably have to do some post-processing because you can see the distance or the station numbers are overlapping So you because they are many uh, too much close space so you have to clean it up a bit and then you might also have to write the number or the location uh, labeling for your station and water line and the bottom line and also in the layers you can see all the all these uh, curves are on a separate layer so you can easily turn them off or just uh, lock them to work on others uh, so this is very handy and then you can add your drawings uh, name or numbers and everything and then you can just convert to PDF to uh, final your lines plan uh, in many times uh, Naval Architects uh, produce a lines plan with uh, which also have an offset table uh, in Dell ship there is a way to generate the offset table but then you have to if you want to do it customs uh, own style, then you have to go with the measure all these distances uh, of the intersections between the station line and the uh, water lines and the body plans, uh, buttock lines, and you can generate off the table by yourself. So this was a quick uh, way to show how you can generate a line span drawing for your ship. Uh, next time I will show how you do it uh, in MacServe quickly. Thank you and uh, please subscribe to our channel. This is one of the biggest uh, YouTube channel for any naval architect so your subscription will inspire us to go ahead. Thank you.